All right, here we go. So usually the way this works is, well, first of all, if you have a Futaba transmitter, you have to reverse channel two. Uh, other transmitters, maybe not. Uh, but Futabas, you have to reverse it. Uh, make sure this is plugged into channel two. That's your ESC. Uh, channel one's for your steering, so ABCs. Make sure to check those, sensor wire, positive, negative. Once you do that, uh, you are going to power this on. Full throttle. Go full reverse. Now go neutral position. And that's it. So, uh, what ends up happening is the following. Because this has a switch, uh, what you do is uh, you power everything on. Transmitter has to be on first. Once you power everything on, uh, the lights are going to be flashing green, as you saw. Uh, then once it switches over to red, go full throttle. Uh, sorry, I apologize. Uh, it'll be flashing green, so go full throttle. Once it accepts full throttle, it'll flash red. Once it flashes red, go full brake. Once it accepts, does the little chimes, turns on all the LEDs, just like you saw, you let go, neutral position. It's going to light up yellow, go through the chimes, saying it accepted. Now it's going to be just like this. Uh, the problem you may run into is if you need to reverse the throttle and it, you didn't reverse it right here, uh, instead of flashing green like it did in the beginning, it's gonna flash red. And then you just reverse the throttle. Then once you reverse the throttle, yeah, four or five seconds, it'll start flashing green again. Once it flashes green, you need to be full throttle. Once you're full throttle, again, flashes red, well, it lights everything up, saying it accepted, goes red, go full brake. All the lights and chimes will come on, saying it accepted. Then it'll go yellow, go neutral, and then it'll chime to everything, and it should be yellow like this. So, that's it. So, forward, brake, reverse. And it really is that simple. Now, if your ESC does not have a switch, when you power it on, you have to power it on with full throttle. The important thing is, make sure everything's connected. If you have a switch, turn everything on, uh, and then pull, do full throttle. Uh, the other important thing to note is your EPA settings, they have to be somewhere between 100 and 120%. Uh, that being said, uh, I hope this helps. Thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe if you have not, and I'll catch you in the next one.